Hey everyone, this is Stella, one of the 2021 IGF Youth Ambassadors. I'm a philosophy law and business student from Malaysia, and I'm delighted to share with you the output of my task, which was to interview resource persons on areas of interest. So I was lucky enough to land interviews with Ms. Richardson, Prof. Schultz, and Dr. Pang. Do enjoy. I started my own company, and that was very interesting because uh, internet didn't exist yet, but technology was starting to be very big in the beginning of the 80s. I realized throughout the 80s that it was very important to understand the legal aspects of all of this because technology was already pushing the frontiers. So I did legal studies to understand this better. Then, of course, in the 90s, we got internet. And at that point, I was lecturing in law, technology, and information systems. My journey actually started in 1995, because that, that was the first time I just uh, engaged with the internet and uh, had my first journey on the World Wide Web. Um, and as, a, as you, as a student, I just learned to work with the internet as a student. Um, but that was more from um, a creative point of view, because then I was a student in media design and media art. And, um, and later on, uh, because then at that time, the internet really developed and the World Wide Web developed. I uh, had an own startup, an internet startup, got into web design, got into ICT. And um, yeah, and, and eventually I got into, in, in, into education um and as uh, and yeah and continued my journey with um uh, doing a master in strategy innovation and also i um finishing my phd also doing research into online community in management science and i guess yeah my work with uh, internet governance really began um many years ago uh, in my master's uh, thesis when i started to look at the issues of uh, digital literacy and digital divides And you may know that for the past 20 years, I've done a lot of work for the Council of Europe and also wrote um, the Digital Citizenship Education Handbook. And we consider that there are 20 competences that we all need. And we divide these into values, universal values, respect, for example, cooperation, Attitudes, empathy, just so important, responsibility, uh, skills, and doing, and we do a lot of things, and knowing. And Jacques Delors, a very great educator that I had the privilege to work with in the middle of the 90s, said, in fact, that there are four pillars of education. It's learning to know, to do learning to be and learning to live together. And for me, this is just so important. This is where we need to go. And it's translated by the Council of Europe into those four areas that I mentioned. But for me, that's what's important. It's not what I learn in history or geography or something else. It's learning all of these values so that I can go ahead and keep up with the changing world lifelong learning that's the key it is and it can be very uh, different things it can be um on a daily basis it's like them uh, me as a digital citizen i'm referring to me now not only as a researcher but also as a um as a person or as a mother <laughs> for instance um i have my obligations with being a, a, a digital citizen um because um, when, at the time I open my phone, I open my website, um, I have to make some decisions, go left, go right, do read something, look at something, listen at something at a certain point of time. And um, I will be, conf I, I'm confronted every day um, without choosing actually, and sometimes I choose, sometimes I choose not to do that. With information, I have to think about it and I have to think about perhaps in ways, is this, is this a, a genuine 
information. Um, what I, should I do with this information? How does this information influence me? Um, do I want to be influenced? All kinds of decisions you have to make on a daily basis. And so I think the um, citizenship is also um, go, uh, is about being very aware of the fact that you have to make those decisions on a daily basis. And um, if, you, if you already start to think about it, sometimes you think, oh, I'm getting very tired already of the idea that I have to do this because most of the decisions we make, we make uh, without thinking about those, clicking on, a, on, a, on an image or liking a photo, um, are often just uh, things we just do because, oh, oh yeah, that's nice to do. And you can just do it in a click. And um, I think um, to be uh, more conscious about those decisions, that is also what digital citizenship is about. And the second thing um, I want to point out here is that digital citizenship is also about your own identity uh, on the net. So who are you on the internet? Uh, how you present yourself to others? Um, how respectful you are if you're engaged with others? Um, how can, what kind of dialogue do you want to have with other people? And um, should you just write down something in a sec split second or should you just count to 10 before you just write down something on the internet? Okay, because that will be visible, visible for the rest of your life. So that's again about decisions you have to take every day. And so that's also, I think, the major um, issue right now about being a digital citizen. So you have to make decisions, informed decisions, and that's very tough for a lot of people. Where's uh, digital citizenship uh, for me uh, really is about how individuals uh, or it's really the capacity of individuals, right, um, to not just be able to know how to use, but use be able to actually use um, digital technologies, right, uh, that includes the internet uh, effectively and also meaningfully uh, to, yeah, not just be able to like uh, fulfill their individual pursuits, right, uh, but they are also be able uh, to um, actually yeah, practice uh, particular forms of uh, civic um, uh, participation, uh, yeah, um, actually social and social participation. So digital citizenship uh, can, of course, definitely includes um, actually digital literacy. Uh, but I, more than that, right, I also think that digital citizenship is also uh, about our digital identities, uh, which is very much a part of our overall identity, right? Um, uh, the our digital ident sense of digital identity should not be something that's, oh, I have one digital identity online and one that's so-called non-digital. Uh, so, um, and but um, yeah, out of that identity, right? We pursue certain goals, right? Uh, we have certain needs and interests uh, and our we apply our um, digital literacy and skills to pursue them. Right. Um, yeah. And at the same time, right, uh, I think digital citizenship is also about uh, individual empowerment um, and agency. So um, in other words, I think it's not good enough to just uh, be able to know how to use, uh, but we also um, need to actually pay attention to uh, whether or not actually our digital environment is an enabling uh, environment such that uh, individuals actually have that sense of empowerment and agency to be able to pursue the kinds of civic causes and social causes that they are uh, passionate about. I don't think it's an extension of the human mind, but I think it's an extension of the human, um, the human actions, uh, the human living together, uh, because it's our minds who are making technology. I really like the question, um, and and you and you, it, it instantly you think about uh, films like AI 
or you think about the matrix you know this is like this doom scenario of the future of course um but i what i want to point out here is that in in many discussions i ha i had in the past also with um, experts on artificial intelligence and um, programmers, but also people who um, are concerned with the ethical um, developments around that. That, and if you if you're talking about the multiverse, which is now introduced, and there's also again a lot of discussion about that. Um, I think we should sometimes step back and think and and think about you know the the internet net or the these developments you just now are uh, bringing up here um is the internet is just uh, as humane as we make it i definitely think that our web right uh, is um i guess yeah it, it is an extension of who we are as a society uh i i definitely agree with that so uh, to a certain extent, right, um, trying to fix the fix, right, uh, quote unquote, the web, right, uh, involves actually confronting uh, questions about who we are as a society. We need a lot of young people from the liberal arts and from other areas so that they can join with the tech nerds and together figure out the ways to go forward it's about society the technology is but a platform we can see it as an auto route it is an auto route it's been built it's there for us but it's for us to decide if we want cars or horses or or motor scooters Anything we want, it's for us to learn to drive them and to make sure that we don't have all of these accidents on the motor route, on the auto route. And so this is why I'm saying we need people from all areas to work with us on internet governance. And only then will we be making sure that this is a place where we can all find our own little patch of blue sky. So for me, we're all important. It makes no difference. No matter if we are very educated, if we're less educated, no matter what our religion is, what our race is, we need us all there to make this world. Actually, my background was also from art, and I and later on, after um, graduating from art school, and I worked for a lot of with computers, um, and at uh, that time, very early in the nineties, and I thought the first steps I did on the internet was as a web designer, but I actually had a design background. So I was interested from a design background and then getting into ICT. Um, and I think that's also an interesting, it's always an interesting discussion if you come from a creative background, but you can add a lot, I think, to the discussions we're having right now about the internet, because you're not only looking into it from a technical point of view, but also from a creative point of view, because you can connect, um, I think, the the strong value if you're coming from a creative background is that you are really able to think conceptually. You can think in developing concepts from different viewpoints. Um, uh, so that I think makes it very strong if you want to, um, to join uh, in that direction. And uh, I think so it's also to, we have need a lot of people, creative people also to think about the future of the internet and internet governance because they can connect us so for me, uh, I guess my interest in internet governance really began um, when I started working more and more and uh, actually encountering the internet um, uh, increasingly, uh, not just in terms of my um, work, right, uh, but also personal lives. Uh, so uh, yeah, my interest in it really grew uh, and actually making the switch uh, from yeah, actually, uh, management sciences to actually information sciences wasn't uh, too difficult for me because uh, it was um, kind of, I realized that, uh, yeah, the topic of the internet is really something that's very interdisciplinary. Um, yeah, even if you're not from a technical background, uh, it's an area and a discipline where you can actually encounter and be able to bring whatever you know, uh, whatever, you, whatever you have experienced, uh, and be able to value add to it. 
so my background in I, I guess um uh, in business right uh, that's where where I did my what I did for my first degree um, enabled me to I guess really gain insights on people's motivations behaviors. And for me, it's the same thing at the IGF. I hope that this year at Katowice, I'm going to see that there is a lot more merger between the sessions and they, that the youth, when they attend other sessions, don't just sit back and wait. You're part of us. You're not youth. You're part of humanity. So I think they're my closing words. Let's work together really to make a better world. The most, the most important, um, uh, yeah, um, the idea in my in my whole career is that because I stay curious, I want to inspire other people to also stay curious. Oh, well, uh, my hope has always actually stayed the same, right? <laughs> Hasn't changed uh, for the past uh, ten years or so, right? My hope is always for greater multi-stakeholder dialogue multi-stakeholder cooperation, right? Um, and uh, I also believe very much in, um, um, yeah, actually expanding the capacity as well as uh, inclusion, inclusion of more, um, yeah, researchers, stakeholders from the global self. So, um, so that we, um, uh, in our work on internet governance, also actually be inclusive, um, we can make sure that we are inclusive at the same time. So that's that's my hope, right? Uh, I definitely see that actually that has actually improved um, and that has actually uh, yeah been um, developing over the years. Bye, believe. <laughs>